So welcome to another video of mine. Today I've got a little charger. I'll just get rid of this packaging so I don't get an SKU label. And as you can see, it's the ISDT 608. Oh, wants to open. A little bit of backstory. I've got four button chargers like the uh, genuine IMAX B6. Um, I've got a GT Power Duo, but um, it serves me well. However, I've always had problems charging 2S batteries, especially small 2S batteries on my um, IMAX. So I thought I'd grab this while it was on offer. Um, I think it was only something like 30 quid after coupon codes and so forth. There is a little issue with it, um, which is I like an AC charger and this takes DC. However, uh, gave the elephant in the room. It takes an XT60, which is great for field charging. You know, I could take a couple of 2200s out to a field and charge 1S and 2S batteries all day long. However, I want to stick it on a parallel board at home here. Uh, I've got a cheap one somewhere about. Um, it's a uh, Power Genius. I think that was a fiver or something. Uh, that'll do five batteries, which is ideal for what I intend this to be used for. Uh, this is a 150 watt, uh, I think it'll do 5 amps, maybe 8, eight amps, I forget. Uh, it's not crazy, you know, you're not going to use it to charge lots of 3 or 4S in parallel or anything, but you will get some good use out of it um, for the right application. So, I believe we have a protective film on it. There we go. Start changes here. I don't know how this works. The dot, obviously. And you get a jog wheel. Um, task setup. Or maybe a long press will take you into the system setup. Anyway, we don't need that on there. So let's stick that. Okay, back to the elephant in my room. XT60, my, one of my overchargers is DC only. Um, however, I use laptop power bricks. This is a 12 volt 5 amp, which will be sufficient. Just put a female uh, opposite barrel jack on, plug in, and that will plug in. So before I plug that in, let's have a quick look through the manual. Uh, we'll take DC 9 to 32 volts, um, up to 8 amps apparently, so that's where you get your 150 watts from. I think it will discharge 5 watts, um, and the balance current is 0.5 amps, I believe, 500 milliamps uh, per cell there. Well, I can't read Chinese, but I know <laughs> that it is about oh, there we go. Yeah. Input voltage 9 to 32 volts, output voltage 9, uh, 0 to 30 volts, charge current 0.1 to 8 amps, discharge 0.1 to 3 amps, uh, max charge power 150 watts, discharge 5 watts, balance current 500 milliamps a so. cell. 1 to 6 cell, it will do life, lithium ion, lithium polymer, lithium high volt, Nickel metal hydride and nicred and um, lead acid by the looks of it. Uh, I believe PB lead acid. Uh, has a little 2.4 inch IPS LCD on it. Operating temperature 0 to 40 degrees, minus 20 to 60 degrees in storage. Um, what else to say? Input power on the back, output power, and the balance port on the side up and down jog wheel and a button. This is like a four pole, three and a half mil jack for updating. You can buy the USB linker from IDST, ISDT themselves, or I believe you can actually make one with a 
a phone, a microphone, you know, a stereo microphone, hands-free kit with a four-pole thing linked to an FTDI adapter. Uh, so, if you like doing things with hardware, you can do that, or you can just buy the easy uh, original unit. Um, you can update your firmware and stuff, depending. Um, so without further ado, let's have a quick look through it, shall we? Um, let's plug this in first. Okay. No battery connected. Instructions, connect the power supply, wait for self-testing to be completed. Set of charging parameters, through the shuttle, and enjoy. So, ah, right. So, charge, storage, charge, battery type, high volt, LiPo, lithium ion, life, lead, nickel, metal hard drive, and NICAD. Uh, LiPo, cell count, quite self-explanatory and what current you would like and then start your task don't believe it said balance in here maybe it automatically balances get back i'm gonna press and hold the button oh, there we go max input power 160 watts okay get a low voltage alarm at 9 volts backlight high, middle and low, let's try low low, middle high what volume change quite handy firmware sharing System information, system self checking. Let's have a look at the hardware 1.0.4, OS 2.1.9. So I'll have to check that, and I think that's quite a late one, but I could be mistaken. Firmware sharing. Hmm? Ah, obviously, once you've got the linker in, you'll start the process and have to start it this on this side system self check let's have a look at that then oh, self checks okay that's cool and then back okay on the main screen you just jog through like you would do the buttons on a force a force button charger this screen shows the cells and obviously 12.2 nor 0 uh, milliwatt hours temperature well that concludes that so I think all I need to do now is um, put it through its paces I do have a fluke so I'm going to be very thorough in checking the storage and the charge voltage of the batteries. So I hope you've liked this video so far and thank you for very much for watching. Okay, fully charged up battery, uh, run it flat on my little micro so I'm just going to put it into a storage charge. So, select the task, on storage, yeah, 3.8, do it 0.4, it's a bit less than 1C on a 5500, or, or 550 milliamp hour. Start task, and apparently storage is done. I think this will, yeah there you go. It will bring it down ever so slightly. Um, it's 
surprised. I thought this was a bit undercharged, but maybe it's bounced back. This will give a little bit of discharge to bring it down to 3.8, although this is within the 0 0.02 uh, volts, I think it's 20 millivolts um, for standard charge, and I think it assumes a storage charge uh, balance is within 0 0.01 volts, um, 10 millivolts. Um, I think that's what the um, manual says. Uh, I could be mistaken, but so far I'm very happy with it. I haven't put any parallel board on it yet. Um, just wanted to see how close it was with a two cell on its own. Um, all in all, very happy with it. Um, could prolong micro flying out on the field if you took a couple of three or four S. Um, you could be flying indefinitely depending on how many packs you got. But as you see, it's saying it's done, um, but it's still bringing this down to 3.8. Um, so I'm just going to leave it like that and see if it finishes on a perfect 3.8. There you go. 3.8, 3.8, uh, storage done. So. Let's have a look at the um, little checker. Oh, that's close enough, isn't it? Can't really um, speak to the accuracy of this, although it's very close on the fluke. Um, the fluke's got a bit more um, range, or so forth. One thing I um, covered earlier in this little preview of this, um, I'll go back. Down here you get the system information, you get the firmware version. Um, going to ISDT site, apparently it's undergoing some um, update or something, and the firmwares aren't available at the moment. However, I believe the 2.1 firmware is quite a late one so um, I'll keep an eye on this site and if it pops back up I'll see what's what.